In other news, after a series of deadly accidents, the Broward County Sheriff's Office is partnering with Brightline in a new operation aimed at lowering the number of vehicle and pedestrian incidents on the tracks. CBS 4's Ashley Dyer has details on how Operation Crossing Guard will work. Broward County deputies and troopers will now be patrolling railroad crossings, looking for pedestrians and drivers trying to beat the train, walk across the tracks, or go around the lowered safety arms. The odds of beating the trains are definitely not in your favor, and the results are just tragic. A message backed by data. Between 2021 and 2022, we've covered at least 20 Brightline crashes involving pedestrians and drivers, more than a dozen of them fatal. So this is the first of its kind of operation where we are specifically targeting the railroad crossings. And because of the tragic that's going on there and with the fatality that that's going on there, and it just seems to be an ongoing issue, we're just starting out the initiative at zero tolerance. Now a new initiative aimed at curbing tragedy on the tracks. These type of operations have proven to deter uh, the type of activity and the type of actions that we've seen by motorists and pedestrians, not just in Broward County, but in South Florida. Starting today, BSO deputies will be stationed at railroad crossings across the county looking for people making dangerous decisions. Drivers caught ignoring railroad crossing safety measures to include stopping on the railroad tracks will be ticketed. In addition, pedestrians and bicyclists caught bypassing lowered crossing gates and not crossing at the designated areas will also be ticketed. These types of violations could cost you hundreds in fines. The senior vice president of Brightline saying they're optimistic they will see a reduction of track tragedies through this effort. This operation really just offers clarity to the community that, you know, there's penalties for, for doing these illegal and dangerous activities. Operation Crossing Guard is only in Broward County for now. It goes into effect immediately, and BSO says it'll continue until they see improvements. In Fort Lauderdale, Ashley Dyer, CBS 4 News.